Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to download Kali Linux and Windows 11 in 2025. This is going to be the easiest way to install Kali Linux alongside Windows. And by the end of this video, you will have a fully functional dual boot system with Club Boot Loader installed, which allows us to choose between Windows and Kali every time we start our PC. Even if you are a complete beginner, don't worry, I will explain everything in the simplest way possible, so you can follow along without any confusion. Now, let's dive right in. So before we start, here is what you will need. A computer running on Windows 10 or Windows 11. A USB drive with at least 8GB of storage. And we need 30GB of free space to install Kali Linux. So as you can see, my setup is pretty basic. I am using Intel i3 8 gen processor with 8GB of RAM. And it is running on Windows 11. The first step in installing Kali Linux is to create an allocated space. As you can see, I have around 139 GB of uh, free space, where I am going to install Kali Linux. To do this, press Windows plus X button on your keyboard and open Disk Management. If you already have an empty partition, just click on it and select Delete Volume to free up space. If you don't have free space, uh, you will need to shrink an existing partition. At least 50 GB space is recommended for smoother experience. Once you created an allocated space, you are ready to move on to the next step, which is downloading the Kali Linux. Uh, to get the latest version, go to the official Kali Linux website and download it in your system. Once Kali is downloaded, the next step is to download Rufus. Rufus is a lightweight and easy to use software that helps us to flash ISO files into the USB drive. We will use this tool to make our USB drive bootable for Kali Linux. Once both the files are downloaded, Let's start by running Rufus, so double click on Rufus to run it. Now insert your pen drive into your PC and Rufus will automatically detect it. Now click on the select button and browse the Kali Linux ISO file you just downloaded. Once done, keep everything as it is and click on start button to begin the process. Now Rufus will warn you that all the data on the USB drive will be raised. Just click on OK to confirm and Rufus will start flashing Kali Linux ISO into the USB drive. And there we go, our pen drive is now become bootable. To confirm, open the file explorer. Here are the all necessary files including the boot and EFI folder which are required for installing Kali Linux. Everything looks good, it's time to boot into the Kali Linux. So first shut down your computer completely and then boot into the BIOS setting. Once the computer is shut down, uh, turn it on and immediately pressing the BIOS access key. This key is different for each manufacturer. Commonly it's F2, F10 or F12. You can check it from here. Once you are in the BIOS setting, the first thing you need to do is disable secure boot. Secure boot is a security feature that prevents unauthorized operating system from loading. Uh, but since we are installing Kali Linux, we need to disable it. Once you have disabled secure boot, go to the boot option and use F5 key to move USB drive to the top. Once done, uh, press F10 to save the changes and exit from the BIOS. Now your computer will restart and boot from the USB drive, so wait for it. And yes, we are now booted into the Kali Linux installer. Here select graphical install using the arrow key and press enter to begin the installation process. Next select your language and hit enter. Then choose your location and hit enter again. Now keep the keyboard configuration set to American English and hit enter. Now it is checking for the network. Go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi or wired network if available. Next, keep the host name as Kali and hit enter. You can skip the domain name by hitting enter. Uh, now it's time to set up user account. First, enter the name for the user and then uh, select username. Uh, now it is asking to set up a root password. Enter a password for root user and hit enter. Now the installer will begin partitioning the disk. Since we created an allocated space earlier, we choose guided use the largest continuous free space. 
Here it is and hit enter. This ensures that Kali Linux is installed without affecting any Windows partition. Here select all the file in one partition and then continue. Now we have two new partition, partition 4 and partition 5. One for the swap and one for the root partition. Simply go to the finish partitioning and hit enter. The installer will confirm the partition changes. Just click on yes and hit enter. Once we confirm the partitioning, the installer will begin copying the file to the selected partition. This process may take few minutes, so wait for it. Now it's time for the software selection. During this step, you can keep everything as it is. But if you don't want the recommended or most popular tool, simply deselect both the options. This way Kali will not install additional tool that you may not need. Once you have made your selection, just click on continue to proceed with your installation. Now the process might take few minutes, so sit back and let it be complete. Alright, the installation is complete, it's time to reboot the system. But make sure to remove the USB drive from your computer before restarting. Once the system restart, you will see the grub boot menu, where you can choose between Kali Linux and Windows. Here select Kali Linux to boot into a new installation. The first boot might take some time, which is normal, so don't worry. Now you will have a fully functional dual boot setup with Kali Linux and Windows. Enjoy the new system. Soon I will upload a video on what to do after installing Kali Linux. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Now if you want to boot into your Windows system, restart your computer and choose Windows in the grub bootloader. As you can see there is a Windows option, just hit enter and your system will boot into the Windows. Alright, we are booted into the Windows system. So by this way you can install Kali Linux alongside Windows 10 or Windows 11. I hope this guide made the process clear and simple for you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.